In order to prepare amplified samples for sequencing, they must be cleaned up. The amplified samples have tons of excess nucleotides and primers from the PCR reaction and need to be removed so that they do not interfere with the sequencing reaction. You need the amplified samples, new tubes, excluding a negative control, and the exosapit enzyme solution, which should remain on ice at all times. Label your new tubes and mix and collect the amplified samples. Transfer 5 microliters of each sample into a new tube. The amplified samples can be returned to the fridge. Add two microliters of exosapit to each of the samples. Keep in mind that the enzyme solution is viscous and the tip should be wiped off before expelling into the sample. Cap the tubes, mix and collect the samples. Because there is very little volume, the solution may have bubbles. You can re-centrifuge, but as long as the solution is collected together at the bottom of the tube, it should be fine for the reaction to proceed. Place the tubes in the thermocycler and navigate to the ExoSAP program.
Once the digestion of free nucleotides has completed, mix and collect the samples. To complete sequencing sample preparation, you will need water and forward and reverse primers that are labeled SEEK, indicating the concentration necessary for the sequencing reaction. It is critically important to obtain two new tubes per DNA sample, as the digested samples will be split between a forward sequencing reaction and a reverse sequencing reaction. In this example, the first four tubes will contain the forward reaction for the four digested samples, and the second set of four tubes will contain the reverse reaction for the four digested samples. The sample number is written on the front of the tubes, and the sequencing direction, F or R, is written on the back of the tubes. Add 10 microliters of water to all of the new tubes. Then add three microliters of DNA sample to both its forward reaction and reverse reaction tube, changing tips between the transfers. Repeat for all remaining samples. This should use up almost all of the digested sample so they can be thrown away. Finally, add two microliters of the appropriate primer into the reaction tubes of the appropriate direction. Cap the first set to avoid mix-ups.
cap all tubes, mix, and collect the samples. Be sure to fill out the sequencing submission form to include with your sample shipment to Jack's.